Oh shit, man, my mic was uh. Now let's hit this like button, man. Let's see what it is, man. Let's get into this body cam footage. Let's see what we got going on here. My screen is tweaking. Hold on, one sec. There we go. That shit was hazy. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's get into it. She bugged up. <coughs> Bro, who served her? A Georgia County commissioner is out of a job after being found past. Oh shit, she's a Georgia County commissioner. Insults at medic. <coughs> oh shit. Get about my face. This the commissioner. Yeah, this who, who? Who? Man, yeah, man, here the mayor. I can't say whose man is this. Whose woman is this? That man here, the commissioner. See how I fucked up. You gotta get him out my face! Ma'am, you're about you, to go to jail. I don't give a fuck. Get him out my face! Yeah, you, you get him out my face! The incident happened on September oh, boy. in Clayton County, Georgia, when police found a woman lying on the ground outside a local sports bar. When the officers check on her, they were <coughs> able to say a word, <coughs> so they lift her up on a bench nearby to sit her upright. Hi. How are you? All right. Bro, who served her? We got we got an ambulance coming. Damn, bro, she fucked up. Yeah. <coughs> she looked like she passed out outside the club. Police are able to identify the woman as Clayton County Board of Commissioners Vice Chair Felicia Franklin. After oh, she! The officers are pulled to the side by a witness to try to get a better understanding of what happened. We want to make sure she doesn't have like some kind of head trauma or something. Yeah, they don't have to. They can't sweep this under the rug now. <coughs> they sit down at the long crime network, boy. We want to make sure she didn't hit her head. That's fine. So, EMS responded. Yeah, EMS will come and check her out right quick. Make sure she at least, you know, no indication of that. And then, yeah. The Lakers just got her. Woo -woo. She be all right. Yeah, she yeah. was staggered out here, so I asked her, I didn't know who she was. I asked her, I said, hey, are you driving? She said, no, she had a ride. So, okay. Yeah, she said she had a ride. Okay. Uh, I prefer to get her home. We'll get her home. <coughs> They're going to probably do something like get her a little bit of AA and shit. I mean... Kind of sweep that up under the rug. They gonna have to do something to keep her in her, in her chair, bro. In her little power and position she's in. Boy, this might then just ruined her whole little career right here. Shortly after EMS arrives, well, be right. quickly <clears throat> inform them of what's going on. So apparently she fell off the bench. We found her on the ground over here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm sir. We want to make sure she didn't hit her head. Yeah. Yeah. She's about to go to jail. Yeah. If she turn, if she turn up, boy, in the back of that squad there, or the bus they call it. Yeah, I hate calling the bus. EMS then try to speak to Franklin, but she's barely able to make a cohesive sentence. What's your name, sir? My name. 
She fucked up. AMS. <clears throat> she fucked up. She probably had a whole bunch of mixed drinks, bro. And she fucked up. She can't hear you. Ain't that she, I mean, she probably hit her head, but that ain't her problem. She fucked up. She drunk as shit, ready to go home and go to sleep. She can't drive, so she got to wait for them fools. Man, she fucked up. We said, let's go to my office. And them Amalams is definitely their office. They been there for a whole shift. They probably hit the, look like they the graveyard shift. Late night beat. Should be going down in City's Boy at night. Niggas be at the bars fighting and shit. Niggas getting stabbed the fuck up. Cracked across the head with bottles. I'm telling you, man. Well, they deaf eye, man. I get them kudos, man. They didn't have to deal with some of them drunk people. Because yeah, the majority of the MS I see are good motherfuckers, man. Trying to do their job and make your day, you know, even though you in a in a rough spot, you no? Know? Hey, when it got some Fiji water. Is this her purse and yes. belongings? Yes, sir. Okay. And she's here by herself? Yes, sir. I got that. Huh? I thought she was with them, yeah. Something in your drink? Or any drink that you eat a lot? That's susceptible to. Like, I can't drink tequila. And I got you. I think she getting that. <coughs> I think she <coughs> trying to say somebody. <coughs> somebody slipped something in her drink. What? Like I can't drink tequila. What? Right. Something in your drink? Right, right. Huh? Somebody gave me something to drink. Somebody, oh, somebody gave me something to drink, but I'm not sure what. Sound like what you said. Somebody gave me a drink, but I'm not for sure what. You're not for sure what they gave you? And they probably Ruby Joe ass. Still unable to move on her own. EMS Somebody slipped her a roofie. For evaluation. <clears throat> Somebody slipped her a roofie, chat. Put your legs under you. She ain't got good roofie. Rollo, what's the word, Rollo? You outside, gang? Gang them outside or what? It's Rollo. Oh, chat. It's Rolo.
Man, I hate that do that. Uh. All right, for sure. Might pop off for a bit. <clears throat> Got the guys in this joint. She fucked up. <clears throat> you drunk. You probably got Rufy too. They're not taking her yet. They're just gonna put her in the back to evaluate her. Okay, my mom is her emergency contact and she's on the way. My mom called me. In another officer's body, her mom is her emergency contact. Crying at the top of her lungs as they move her to the ambulance. You just fucked up. Just going to the hospital. Let me hit you with some fluids. Where's that, where's that girl mom at? She needs somebody there to calm her down. <coughs> she needs somebody to calm her down. She's about to wall out. Oh, let's go, let's go. On scene. Franklin, still visibly upset, repeats to her friend that she believes she was drugged. Oh, yeah, she did say that. That's what she meant. Somebody roofied her. She got roofy, y'all. Sound like she got roofy. <coughs> it's fucked up. Chat motherfuckers be out there on that time. And ladies, you got a drink with you and you at the bar. You got to go to the bathroom. You turn around and talk to one of your friends. I repeat, do not leave your drink on the bar. Have your drink in your hand the whole time. Motherfuckers be out there on that time and they will roofie your ass. Some sick individuals out in the world. You got to watch out. After Franklin projectile vomits all over herself, back on the other officer's body cam, the EMT can be heard quickly noticing the smell of alcohol coming from the county official. That's whiskey. You drink bourbon? I don't know. What have, what have you been drinking tonight? Any bourbon? I don't know. I just want over. Patty, Patty, come to me, Patty. Okay. Patty, Patty. It don't matter if she's drunk. She was at a bar. Of course she's going to be drunk. Who go to the bar and don't drink? I mean, <coughs> unless you want them people. <coughs> you know what it is? <coughs> oh, man. You know, I could be designated driver. I don't see people like that. Go to the bar with their peeps and just drink fucking soda. Just hang out. <coughs> Shit. Ah, yeah, yeah. While emergency officials tend to Franklin, her Damn, man, that's messed up. What she believes is the reason for Franklin's questionable night. Like I say, the way it smells is it's some type of like whiskey or bourbon. With the medication. With the medication. The medication. Yeah. The medication. Made her, probably made her I sick. saw when it came up, it wasn't anything other than fluid. It wasn't fluid. Yeah, there, there was some specs or something in there, but I said, the, only, the only reason we called the ambulance is because she did roll off the bench. No, she needs to be looked at. We, we she just called went. me and her phone went dead and I couldn't get her back. Kayla found out where she was and we both came here. Yeah. Now, I live right off Spivey, so. Yeah, no, you're good. Yeah. We just, 
because she rolled off. Oh, no, I get you. I understand. Yeah, we want to make sure she's okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. No, literally, last Friday, I spent all day in the emergency room with her. With, she couldn't breathe. Yeah. Because she had bronchitis, acute bronchitis. And, and you so, can see that, that, uh -huh. that color. Yeah. Says. Yeah. Know. She's been on medication for two weeks, so she probably shouldn't have been out tonight, she, but I'm she sure she had cabin fever right. is what it was. She had cabin fever. Once just wanted to listen to some music. While in the ambulance, Frank <coughs> still is unable to calm down, frequently screaming for her friend to be by her side. But in a shocking turn, Franklin turns on the people helping with her care. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take her for public drunk. I can't get up out this truck. She's not working. He's a, a, he's a yeah. I'll get up out this truck. Everybody, you know, please. Anything, um, Patty, for it got to be Patty, get up out this truck. I can't you know, get up out this truck. She fucked up, y'all. Yeah. She trying to kick that. What you on, sis? She trying. They trying to help you out. Man, trying to do his job. She trying to kick him out. What the fuck? Yeah, she all sorts of twisted, boy. She done had. She had some shots, boy. I don't know. It's still up in the air if she got a roofie. She, she, she. We know she definitely drunk. Damn, show. W friend though. Oh, she going to jail. She about to go to jail. She about to go to jail. Oh, she about to go to jail. She trying to hit AMS. She about to go to jail. She about to go to jail. <laughs> And so Josh, she ripped up, boy. She about to go to jail, boy. Go well, jail time. She go. She go jail time. You better let your home, girl. You about to go to jail. Bro, she tweaking. Listen to me. Listen to me. She tweaking, bro. Listen to your home girl. Listen to me. You're okay. You're okay. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're okay. No, I'm not. Look at me. No, bro, she. Please. Look at me. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, like, moly. I got to turn this down in my ears, gang. Oh, man. Come on. Come on, y'all. Get out the ambulance. She gonna go to jail. <clears throat> she about to friend go to jail. To try to calm her down, but still strapped onto the gurney, Franklin remains unruly before going into complete hysterics. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, man. Jeez, Chad. You need to stop. Felicia. Oh my sweet Mary, Jesus. Man, paying airplanes no, for five years and hearing all those Sanders vlogs that make me deaf, but she's about to. Oh, no. You fell down. We want to make sure that you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Holy moly, bro. Y'all, somebody get out the get out the ambulance, bro. Jump out the V, bro. Jump out the V, bro. She's about to make me deaf. She's about to make me deaf. Jump out the V. Holy moly. <laughs> Franklin refuses to let the remaining EMT tick her blood pressure. Minutes go by and no one is able to calm her down. As more of Franklin's loved ones arrive on scene, it's evident the county leader will not be able to go home right away. Yeah, she she'll have a meltdown, boy. She just threw up again. I mean, she, I, oh, she threw up again? What he said is she's got to sign a release and she's got to walk to a car. She can't do either one of those right yeah. now. Yeah. So I think she has to go to the hospital. Can't take her? 
unless she can sign a release and walk to the car is what he the, told the me. The concern is, is that she, she, she rolled off and she <clears throat> may have hit her head. That may be the cause of the vomiting, too. It, it could be a lot of factors, but... Because she was on the ground out here when I got here. Y'all yeah, had just put her on Yeah, the we were picking her up. So, concussions, you know, if, if you hit it just right, <clears throat> it causes vomiting, it, disorientation. Yeah. She hit her head just right. So, that, that's my concern. That's why we She ain't getting hit by a linebacker. Yeah, well, she got hit by the pavement. Because it, 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 it. I don't want to risk Or... It. Them touch her. I said, let's at least check your blood pressure. She's like, no, she won't. Damn, be boy. Um, if they will allow someone to ride with her, would somebody be willing to ride with her? I ain't mean, never been hit that hard playing football to get concussed. I'm pretty sure I probably gave somebody a couple of them. The end. You will sit still and you will shut up. At this point in time, I've had it. I've had it. We're at zero right now. I've tried every avenue to help you, but you are not cooperating with me. You're going to sit here, and you're going to be quiet, and we're going to take you to the hospital. Am I clear? Am I clear? Patty, get him up. I don't get him care up. who Patty is. You are up, my Patty, patient. Punch him, Patty. Don't punch him. You're not going to punch him. Punch him. Not gonna punch him. <laughs> his last name is Mosley. Get him up. Yes, ma'am. Punch. My last name is Mosley, and I work for the face. city of Morrow. That man doing his job. EMT straps down Franklin to the gurney. The violent insults continue. Call Katie. Get him out my face. So the choice is, do you want to go to the hospital or do you want to go to jail? You get him out my face. You did not handle oh, this properly. Go to the hospital. Because either way, you have to go to the face. hospital because the jail won't take you this drunk. Uh, I'm not that drunk. You can take me to the hospital. Get him out my face. Get him out my face. And then buckle you up. Pretty up sure he's your driver. Hey, she you call my father, you call anybody, but get him out of my okay. face. All right, we got you. Get him out of my face. He is. You about to go drive. Let me just talk until you get him out of my face. Right. Right. He's the driver. Shortly after, EMTs are finally able to transport Franklin to a local hospital. When the officer arrives, Franklin can be heard still shouting, now begging and tearfully pleading for her mother to be called for several minutes. <laughs> Yeah, she fucked up, y'all. She mad fucked up. Yeah, she might got a concussion, y'all. On top of being drunk. Had a rough night there. Had a fight with the pavement and the pavement one. Probably gave rise a concussion too, boy. She just hurt, man. She missed her mom.
Please. I, don't, I hope he, man, I hope he don't rest her, bro. Back, this, this lady just hurt, man. She just hurting. She lost her mom. She went out and got drunk, bro. She's sad as fuck. She lost her mom, passed away, man. She had to take her mom into the day the soul left this earth, man. Hey. That woman is hurt, man. That's some that's some hurt fucking pain right there, man. That's some that's some you know what I mean, that's almost ready to go tears, man. Somebody help me. Look, I'm calling for a Hail Mary right now, man. <laughs> Hospital staff, the emergency crew, and the officer are able to place Franklin on the hospital bed. Damn. That's when the body cam video ends. Following the incident and now sober, Franklin was interviewed by police where she gave her own account of what she remembered. Tell me why are you here and what's going on. I know a little bit about it, but right. not a lot. Well, basically, I've been um, dealing with bronchitis for like two weeks. Okay. And it in. Um, started to feel better. Had to make a uh, run. I was sitting beautifully, and so I thought I could make music for a minute. I've been in professionally all my life. Okay. And so I normally don't go anywhere by myself, per se, but if I go to a place and I see music and I see somebody I know, then I will go to Okay. And that's what I did. In fact, I was, um, went to the Kempton first just to see that because there was nothing there. And then I... Um, Where's that at? That was just right off of... Um, you say the Yeah, yeah, Porsche. Porsche. Porsche, um, Porsche. And I didn't have anything there, okay. nothing at all. I went in, they had a it's private event, so I just had to violate bring my car back around. The longest I was there was going on my car. Okay. So mm -hmm. then I was like, oh, wow, I've been in the whole time. I really would have loved to hear some music. I never heard anything there. So then I remembered there was a place by South Lake, and as I drove by, I could hear the music. So then I thought, you know, I'll go in and see if I know anybody. Knew one of the drummers that was playing, and I stayed up front the whole time. Right. And was fine the whole time. In fact, I showed it yeah. to the council. But at some point... They, yeah, what was the name of the uh, drummer, you know? Uh, it was like Landy. But they did, I, it was it was a band that I knew. Okay. It was at the vocalist. She took care of me. She stayed after yeah. and helped. They called uh, another friend that knew me <coughs> in the music industry. Okay. The biggest thing is that um, after being there and then hearing the set, once they packed up is when I noticed something was going on, I wasn't quite sure. Then after sitting there for a minute, I thought, you know what, I need to go ahead and leave. Normally I would leave right after the thing. <coughs> but then when I got up to walk out the door, literally, and I have four kids now, it's like my body just went out. It was not a head swimming, it was not anything like that. It was like my body stopped functioning. That's how it felt. When they got me on the gurney and inside, that's when they said, Somebody woke me up and I became very combative. Correct. According to my doctor who was on the line with Kayla, because she, she knows my doctor and all of them. Um, my doctor said that it sounded as if I had superhuman strength. Patty said the same thing. And they said I was very, very combative and I kept throwing up profusely. All right. And that's all I remember. And I remember my dad bringing me home. And, um, Shortly after officers Damn. informed Franklin, she had way more to drink than she originally thought. How many drinks did you had again today? Uh, then wine, and then that, that was it. And I didn't finish it. And I didn't have anything else in my body. Other than when I went to the doctor, they gave me a, um, a bronchitis pretty quick. Oh, yeah, beautiful, yeah. Then, yeah. <coughs> I think I wouldn't have gone out. I've been home for two weeks because I was taking the meds. And uh, what, are you on, what are you taking, prednisone? Yes. Um, I just want to be very blunt with you. You can be blunt. You had five drinks. I didn't drink five drinks. I know, but you had drink. I'll count it all five of them. Just want to let you know that. I had five drinks? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I don't remember having five drinks. Yeah. I mean, I don't remember that. And then they give me your receipt <laughs> as well. Three home runs, they eat that pink. No, these, I didn't even order food. Other people had this. I didn't drink that. Right. Well, 
They put somebody else's on my tab. That is not what I, I didn't even eat that. That's what he said. He said he never saw you with food, and that's when I asked him, okay, how'd that No, I there? did not. So you're saying that you saw the camera footage oh, yeah. of her yeah. drinking the five drinks. Yeah. I and had he, the and same he, drink. And he, got a, he made a timeline. Let's see. And all of it. I yeah. Yeah, yeah she made it. <clears throat> not that I know of. And I didn't even order food. He put everybody on my bill. You saw them serve me five drinks. You saw them put five drinks on my table. Yeah, but they sure the footage. There were, and if you saw the drink, the band was up there singing. They're trying to yeah, take I, you know, I, saw, I saw you sit with the band. No, you're gonna, they're going to make those my drinks. We're going to find out. This is a setting. This is a setup. You saw her order them, but not the soup. That was what I'm trying to figure out. And he's put them on my bill. I've, I've seen her consuming a couple of drinks. Okay. I haven't got the total count. Okay. But from what I count, she had the wine. Okay. Yeah. Million. The second drink she had was the home run, which has got the Hennessy in it with no, the uh, it right. He she said she thinks about a third of that one and took that one back and ordered a new one, like you said, at the bar. It wasn't a third. Okay. Or the third one, the bartender said that she told you to get with your server. Uh, there's video of him them bringing you the third drink, um, and I've seen the video of after the band left, you're sitting there at the table on your phone and you. Pick the Corona up accident, I'm assuming. What's up that? Pick oh, like a Corona to me, or whatever. It was a beer bottle. That's when I started feeling funny. Okay. After the band left is what I told you when I first walked in. That's when it got fuzzy because I don't remember. So she you picked up something that somebody said. Roofed her. Drink that caused a reaction. <clears throat> However, investigators said they she got roofed. Any evidence of tampering with her drink. Weeks after the incident. Oh, uh, because she puked it all up. Franklin that Franklin shit went bye-bye. Chairwoman. Franklin later announced it was she all on her. to sue Clayton County for wrongful termination after booting her from her position. Reporting for Law and Crime Network, Damn. Elizabeth Milner. All right, chat, man. I appreciate y'all sliding in. I'll catch y'all on the next one.